Yo, what's in it? What's in it? Big live in the fit. I know it's probably been a couple days, possibly. A day that I done dropped the real video. I'm trying to get back to my, trying to get back to my mental. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta take a break from some of this stuff. And, you know, be real with yourself. Sit back. Try to analyze, you know what I'm saying? What you got going on? Because a lot of times, I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? The motivation don't beat up, the drive don't beat up. Then you get all the questions, and the thing is, you might got answers to them, but sometimes I don't be feeling like dealing with it. So I had to get back to myself. I'm slowly but surely, you know what I'm saying? Getting back up though. But I had a lot of questions after I dropped that one video about the cons with USA. And people wanna know what the pros is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I say, I give y'all the real. The major thing over here is you can make money in the freedom. You get a whole lot of freedom. If you know what you're doing, you come over here, you run your loads, go home. Know what you're going to gross, how to book your loads. And that's just that, you know what I'm saying? It's not really much, you know, that it's not much that can go wrong if you know what you're doing let me just put it right though so if you know what you're doing everything will be pretty simple easy some people like bro should i still come over yeah i don't see no problem with it make the move you know but then we got something else going on too is people saying the freight driving what's the deal with it i don't know a freight driving everywhere i don't have all the load boards our freight did go down as far as the rates or whatever like that and it might just be one of them slow weeks i don't know so jumping in the comment section saying bro freight slow down everywhere is this percentage low as that i don't care about none of that I don't care about none of that. At the end of the day, bills got to be paid. People got expectations. And that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, people complain about these loads. Bro, this ain't paying this. This ain't paying that. This ain't this. You know, I, I might interact a little bit when it comes down to having a little bit of conversation or whatever like that. But I done had a couple people show me Landstar loads. Landstar is over there paying. I done had a couple people tell me they going to Landstar. Salute to anybody that make the business decision on moving anywhere. Me personally, I'm going to wait this out. I'm going to see what's going to happen. Because either these rates going to go back up. And they might have the possibility to open a dead load board. Which I do feel like they need to give us. The insight on that dead low board and allow us to pull loads off that board. My personal opinion. But for people that's coming saying, bro, I'm going to Landstar. I'm going to F2F. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. The thing is this. People are making decisions off of emotion. And a lot of times when it comes down to these companies, you cannot always make decisions off of emotion. If you make a decision off of what you know and what you can get into and how easily you can transition, that's cool. But trying to jump because of you pissed off that these loads are not paying what you used to. We still got loads on the board that look good. I just, I can still make the same amount of money. Even though I might have to switch my route, I've been back and forth to Ohio. I had to switch my route a little bit, but it's still cool, I'm still good. It's not much like certain stuff slow down the freight move around. So I'm not the only thing is this in why I came with the channel. If you come to USA, don't try to stick to the 65% side. Because at this point, USA is oversaturated with drivers that's on 65%. Come over here, run it, make your money, get your own authority and insurance, go to 85%. I don't know how many times I gotta say that. Go to 85%, you're going to pull the loads, you're 85, that's going to make up for whatever plus a little bit more. 
once you do that invest into your own trailers this day and the third and do your own thing that's the whole point it's not to sit on 65 like oh yeah bro like i'm gonna be on 65 percent for four years that's not what the expectation is that ain't what this is about that ain't what i'm saying as far as yeah bro follow me that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is take the loads run it stack your bread go buy an outside truck make your you know whatever you got to do get your 85 percent you know what i'm saying hey keep it pushing keep it pushing i'm not no spokesperson for these people no none of that just get y'all the experience you know what i'm saying that's all it is i get the calls day in and day out hey frank man what's going on with this little boy don't call me with that i don't know i'm running the same thing y'all running like hey loosen up a little bit bro i don't like going to illinois that ain't none of my problem bro like you not the thing is you're not about to run the southeast you're not gonna run the southeast and make no bread. I don't care what you do. You can go down to you can you can take a load down to Miami for three thousand, probably twenty five, three thousand. Come back up to Atlanta, go back down up. You could gross that little six, seven thousand dollars a week. But how much money you don't burn yourself out in fuel? Is it worth it? Like you know what I'm saying? When you could just you know boom, pick one load up, do another one, do another one, boom, hit the crib, take a load home with you. Then when you hop back out, you already in the green ball, 3,000, 2,500. Then you go ahead and maneuver that like that. And then you start moving around. You know what I'm saying? Just, hey, man, some of this stuff you got to do it benefit you. you. Do it benefit you. That's the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my, you know, like I say, I'm just not getting back to myself. I've been kind of out of it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? A little bit on edge with a lot of stuff you know and it ain't just you know just trucking it's it's you know what i'm saying i just try to go home now i get me a little tech work done you know what i'm saying because i just feel like this kind of always been like my outlet you know what i'm saying to get a little bit of tattoos or whatever like that inflict a little bit of pain because it's just like my tolerance is up there so i be having to do you know what i'm saying and i i got a specific thing because like I feel like it represents me, which I am a Leo, but at the same time, it's like, it don't matter what it is. When it comes to any one of these obstacles, when they're dealing with these truck companies and life in general, like, you got to be a lion. You cannot, you can't let these people see you sweat. No, none of that. All that calling, oh, I'm this, I'm that. It's like, no, man, you work this load, you maneuver it. You maneuver the whole board. It's no way to be stuck. You know what I'm saying? We got stuff that come in day in, day out. You know what I'm saying? Just, hey, work it, move it. Is USA a good idea? Yeah, it is. But make sure you elevate through the company. And then you start, you know what I'm saying? That's why the settlements is like, it's pointless to do settlement videos anymore. I was like, hey, bro, how much can I average? Two to $3,000 a week easily. If you're a lazy person. Bottom line, like, I'm, I'm sick of questions like that. Go back and watch the old videos, and then you get mad when I go and just share a link. Can't be like that. Just go watch the old videos. Like, all right, this dude been talking straight about USA the whole time. Let me just go see if I can find the video. It's like, man, they, they hold a hand. I know it's a lot of people that's over here that be needing a load, they help on the load board. I got plenty of videos explaining this load board. What you gotta do? Just gotta know how to move. I tell y'all exactly what afraid is. What more do you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I ain't tripping. They got this emergency declaration thing about to come up because I think we about to have another shutdown. They right, there's another reason why I'm sitting still because when that emergency declaration hit and then they shut everything down again, just know for a fact, them lows is going up. Them lows going up, them rates gonna be crazy. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I ran when they did it the first time. These lows bought me crazy. To get in is the time right now to get on because it's bought to go down. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? And my uh, another thing, I get, a, I got another question. Um, I think dudes say, how much do you have to average? Uh, uh, uh how much do you have to gross a week to see a 
decent paycheck. I don't know what decent is for you. So I can't really give you an answer. Like, the gross is based off of however your living expenses, however much you're trying to make. But if you want, like, that two, three thousand, you're gonna have to gross five to six thousand. Anything to me, I say, if I gross six thousand, I'm good. Anything over it, that's even better. You know what I'm saying? I don't get all chair every week trying to kill myself. I go home a lot. I don't just don't be, you know what I'm saying? The drive and the motivation don't beat us sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get it back, but hell, we all human. You had them little times where you just like, bro, leave me the, leave me the hell alone. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it been lately. But I'm, I'm slowly trying to get it back or whatever like that. The other day, I think I was up like 27 hours, like, just because I had stuff to do at home and I hopped on the road and then I ran that for about like I went up to midway four and a half then I drove six hours to Columbus then they rejected the load because I got there too early my appointment wasn't until 12 so I was up a little bit longer waiting on my appointment but then I fell asleep then I hopped back up did that and then I um, I was just out of it you know what I'm saying but other than that that's all I got for you today you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you for checking it out. And I'll let, you know what I'm saying? Please like, share, subscribe, comment. I'm most definitely about to be coming back to back with these videos. Because I got some decent little updates or whatever like that. Man. Um, also, people want to know, like, the update on the Pete. The Peter built did get an extended shift, though. I, I went on here and threw, threw that in there. I'm waiting on these other little parts and to go ahead and just toss it in the shop. Get everything done to it. I think I'm probably running close to like 16, 16 five for all repairs. So we're gonna go ahead and knock it out. Get everything done, fuses, hoses, clamps, stakes, all that good stuff, and we're gonna be good to roll. Uh new tires and wheels also. And that's gonna be that. I get it painted whenever, but I need to go ahead and get my baby rolling. And that's gonna be that on that. Catch up with y'all on the next one.